Eamon Smile skyscraper came out, and then and then I, th- I think I read that you'd left because you're wanting to pursue your own solo work and and work on stuff that you've been working on for a long time. But then the offer came to join White Snake, and now was that just too good an opportunity to turn down at the time? Yeah, um, I had finished the skyscraper tour before I joined Dave Roth. I was working on Passion and Warfare because it's still my fascination for recording and especially this this brand of music in my mind you have to you have to honor your creative impulses or you slip into depression and uh i had to honor them and at that point it meant turning my back on rock stardom to create passion and warfare in my mind that's what i was doing i was surrendering my career because the music for passion and warfare was i knew it was very different it wasn't dave roth it wasn't white snake it wasn't anything uh that i had heard you know that, that you could point to and say hey that that's a uh, like avia musicom by eric johnson or hey that's like um blow by blow by jeff beck nothing uh or surfing with the alien i mean it, all of those records you can't com- really compare them to each other so passion and warfare was part of that because it was a um authentic offering from my inner ear um but then i couldn't understand how i was going to go out and tour it yeah. because it was one record it was a very dense record very complex in a sense and i didn't i, I was always com- more comfortable with having a front man and just being the guitar player, I didn't know how I'd be able to negotiate standing in front of a stage playing instrumental guitar music, you know. And the, the White Snake gig was on the radar right at the exact same time. So I thought, well, it would make much more sense to tour with White Snake and make a record with them. And, uh, you know, for the momentum of that other side of my career. And lucky for me, I really liked the music of White Snake. Uh, back then, the uh, the their White Snake album that sold twenty five million copies, you know, it it came out and it was a great record. And I just love great singers. And Coverdale was a monster. I mean, come on, you know, I watch that guy get on stage every night and deliver like a boss, you know. So I thought, yeah, man, I want in. And, uh, and it was great. I, when I got into the band, the, all the music was written and recorded for the, for the slip of the tongue record. And I, I just had to put the guitars on it. And there was an, there was another really great group of guys. If anybody was, uh, difficult, it was me, you know, I was a bit of a prima donna. I, um, I came from. Dave Roth and with Dave Roth you learn you learn certain things uh, you know how to navigate the business and uh navigate the magazines and the press and things like this so and plus I had passion and warfare out and it was it was go- it was blowing up while I was touring with White Snake so uh yeah you know we did I did the slip of the tongue and did we did a huge huge tour and it was fantastic uh at the end of it David uh was going through some personal things you know he was going through a divorce and so he disbanded everything but I I knew that um just instinctually uh of course you don't I didn't know for sure but i kind of felt that i'd do a record and a tour with them and i'd I'd have to return to the quirky music that was in my head and i did (laughs) 